everyone, it's Nana Foxy Mama 365 We're back again with another scoop of The Real Housewives of Atlanta Season 12, Episode 18 it is A Greek Tragedy in Six Acts What the hell does that mean? Don't ask me Anyways, we see the ladies are waking up and they're having some fun together with the from the little, little clicks, Kenya as we can, the Cynthia, Nini and the other ladies are all like kind of together, they're having fun uh, we see Kenya and Candy saying, oh, the plan for the day is to go for the dinner in the sky high, you know, place where, but the other ladies don't know. So they're going to keep it a secret because they know that Nini might not come through or some of the ladies might be scared to do it. So it's like, okay, don't say a word. When are you going to have a word with Nini? Kenya says she's just not going to, she's just going to like keep it, you know, pushing pretty much. Well, on the way, they have a com they have a conversation. Ken Candy's inviting all the ladies to her baby shower, and she's telling them she's most likely probably going. She's thinking of having Shadina manage one of her things because she has some management skills, and she's really happy with Shadina. She's always forever going to be grateful for her carrying the baby. Shadina, by the way, is her surrogate, right? So the ladies are thinking, mm, well, it's up to Candy, but generally people will say have no contact with the surrogate after you've had the baby deuces you you know you pay the person off and that's it i think that probably is a saner thing to do only because you just don't i don't know but i i would still go with the book you know keep it pushing afterwards mile high club no Porsche. you got to have sex on the plane to be in the mile high club okay <laughs> Any which ways we're going to be having dinner in the sky. I remember they brought this to Calgary a few years last year actually, or and in Vancouver. I think it'll be something I would like to do. Uh, I don't know. I'm scared of heights as well. So, but anyway, Nini says she's going to brave it. The other ladies are like, okay, we're going to do it. And they're a hundred feet up in a construction zone, and apparently the thing spins around as it's high up. It's kind of cool. They get to see the Acropolis, which is like a great view of the ruins in Greece. So it's kind of cool, but it's raining, but Nini, you can see Nini is really scared. She's like, oh, I don't want to do this, but she's taking one for the team and she's going in. And Marlo is trying to calm her to sit back and she's like, no, just drink your wine, okay? <laughs> Nothing, a nice glass of rosé. Grecian rosé can't cool out, okay? <laughs> anyway, ways, they bring out the food and they're having some, some food. And of course, we see Kenya start with the bullshit. <sighs> Cynthia is tasting the one. She says, I have sample it first. It's Grecian Rosé. She's going to taste it first. And of course, Kenya goes, what makes it excellent? Because Kenya, Cynthia said it was excellent. What makes it excellent? Um, would you pay, what would you pay it with? Oh, um, okay. What if, um, would you put the rosé with shrimp would, or would you decide to change the wine? Oh, or would you ignore the meal and just keep the wine even though the wine? And I'm like, what the hell? And all the other ladies are picking up on this shade. I don't know how Cynthia says she doesn't understand or she can't feel it. I know for sure sitting down there, Cynthia, there's no way Cynthia is going to say her shade radar wasn't up. Anyway, she says, um, should we choose another wine? If the wine was, how many red wines are there? Name for it. And everybody's like, girl, even Candy. And I actually watched um, Candy's show last night just to see what Candy said. And for the first time, Candy actually spoke up against what Kenya was doing to Cynthia. I mean, obviously, most of the time, Candy writes for Kenya because they're cool and all of that. However, for the first time, I thought, okay, yes, Candy finally delivered and said, Kenya, girl, that was so wrong. It was so shady. What the hell were you doing? And eventually, Candy cut it off when Kenya was saying, how many variations? And Candy like, girl, how many variations do you have in your spot? And all the girls were like, yes, you know, and that kind of shut Candy up. That kind of shut Kenya up. And we see Nini saying, yep, Cynthia, you are definitely being punked, okay? This is not your friend. This definitely ain't no friend, you know? And like I said, it, for someone like Kenya to be doing this, if you did it, ask one question, you know? But she says it would have been okay, but she kept on going in and going in, and it was just kind of wrong, you know? It was a read. And Cynthia like, no, well, it wasn't really a read. And all the ladies are like, girl. And Portia says, even if you're blind as a mouse, yeah? Three blind mice, girl, you've been read, okay? <laughs> Cynthia, girl. 
Anyways, Opa! We're smashing plates, so yeah, we you know, and the energy is great. They're talking about their passions and what they're passionate about and what they're happy about. Ladies are going around and sharing. I was a little like, oh gosh, I don't think they were dressed because I think they should have been wearing jeans and some kind of boots because the glass was like, but anyways, everybody was fine and they had fun. Okay, of course, the ladies are shopping and they're like, okay, we better get an evil eye <laughs> to kind of protect you know, from bad luck, and they're like, uh, what, what are you talking about? The lady's trying to understand, and you're like, yeah, this is an evil eye. It will actually protect you against any kind of bad luck, okay? So they're going to get one for Cynthia. <laughs> and we see the producers now asking Kenya, why were you pressing Cynthia so hard? And she's like, I don't care. I'm sick of it. Is that what you people are coming up with? Who wrote these questions? And if that's what you guys are going to ask, I'm going to get up and leave. And you don't see Kenya's attitude is so foul. She says it's not about that, that any which ways she believes that Cynthia should know about the industry she's getting into. No, I don't agree with that. It's always better to be knowledgeable before you get into it. However, Cynthia's business, she's a retailer. She's not a wine connoisseur. She is not manufacturing the wine, you know, she's, she's just pretty much a retailer and has, I think it's a cocktail, she might be able to, people can, I'm not sure, but she pretty much Cynthia is a retailer and she's just been able to price her wines and all of that. So, I don't know why Kenya is, you know, going so hard at it and Candy made another good point when she spoke, she did say, you know, when she started the restaurant industry, she didn't know anything about it. Kenya, I don't know what expertise do you have after you gave them water. <laughs> Kenya, you gave the women water the first night, remember? Shamia drank it. So stop it with the bullshit. Your claim to, to you know, to business, you really, like, you really haven't run a business from scratch to finish, you know, like going through the hard times, paying salaries, you know, paying rent, paying, you know, still having to pay. So stop. It's just wrong. And if you thought Cynthia didn't know her onions, you should have pulled her aside and said, hey girl, you know what? I'm going to take you to this winery. After the girls have left, we can come back and sit down here and actually do a one-on-one -on -one with the gentleman and maybe he can take us through this and that, you know, or make it something that would have been educational. Why would you do that anyway, Trees? Kenya has a bad attitude and she's like upset with the producers. Portia and Tanya, going into Cynthia's room, Oh, excuse me, practicing good manners, okay? <laughs> In my chicken wing. Anyways, Portia and Tanya are going into Cynthia's room and gonna have a tete-a-tete -tete with her. They're gonna ask her what she felt and they give her a gift and she's so excited. She's like, oh, thank you so much. This is the best thing anyone has done for me in a while. You know, and Tanya goes in and says, listen, I felt really bad. I felt Kenya was coming for your wine, your wine bar and it was just wrong, you know. And Cynthia is saying, oh, it was just a joke, you know, but the girls say it's an expensive joke. If you had said it the first time, it was a joke. The second question, the third question, the fourth question, mm-mm, mm-mm. And that's what I always say, Kenya can dish it, but can she take it? And that's why you see Portia saying, if, see, you keep touching our faces, ugh. And that's what Portia says, if, you know, if, if the table was turned and you had even as much as asked Kenya a question about her hair care product, Kenya would have been so upset and felt you were coming for her. And of course, they show clips of Kenya say, calling Tanya a C-U-N-T word and saying, oh, you're messing with how I make my money. And I'm like, you know, and of course, Portia gives a great example and say, hey, if I had used Kenya's hair care product and I, my edge... <laughs> That was shady, you know, it was kind of shady, but anyway, it was just pretty much trying to give an example that Kenya would definitely not, not like it. So treat people how you want them to treat you, you know. So Cynthia says yes. You have to teach people how you want them to treat you. And Cynthia says yes indeed. Because of all that Kenya has been going through, she's been giving Kenya a pass. However, Kenya has to, she's not going to give her a pass to disrespect her. Kenya still has to respect her and yeah and still be you know for them to be cool and be you know friends any which is they're happy they grab a few braces from Cynthia and away they go now the journey to the winery now they're asking Marlo Marlo what do you want in a man uh-uh stop it guys stop it Marlo is still hoping that she will find a man I'm like yeah that's cool but I just think uh you know uh, they're trying to say to Marlo, beyond the, the money and all of that, what else do you see in a man? They're hoping to hear maybe love Christ, you know, maybe tall, dark, handsome, you know, a go-getter. 
but she's like, well, she just wants someone that's established. <laughs> and Candy and Candy makes a great point. She says, look, you're looking for someone that's like a millionaire. However, when I found Todd, Todd was in the hundred thousand that range, the thousands. However, but us together, we've been able to grow, and now we're making millions together, which is kind of cool, you know. And that's the growth. But Marlo's like, and I get that point too. Marlo says that boat has sailed, okay. You know, like I think Marlo's about fifty now or thereabout, so she feels like growing with a man has passed. But I don't, I don't agree with that. You know, you start from wherever you are, even if he's made. But being together always makes it a better relationship. Of course, they ask Mimi with the fact that she's, you know, the longest relationship, and she's like, um, even though a man cheats and all of that, it's more about the respect, the communication. That even if a woman sleeps with Greg, she's not going to leave him because of that doesn't mean he doesn't love her, doesn't mean he doesn't like her, and all of that. So. Good for them. Portia! And they are now at the winery. Portia is raving Cynthia's and is like kind of like, yeah, I need to, you know, buck her up on her winery. And she's like saying, let me introduce you to my girl, okay? She's got a winery in Atlanta and, you know, it would be nice for you to meet her and all of that. So the gentleman like, yeah, I got some co contacts and if you want Grecian wines. And yeah, Cynthia like, yeah, cool. So that's a kind of a nice moment and I think you know, that's what the kind of stuff that Kenya should have been doing for Cynthia, her friend, okay? Not Portia doing it for Cynthia. In which ways, Portia and Tanya need a show, you know, and the wines are great and they're like, okay, they're going to taste the wines and what are you going to... The gentleman saying, you either swallow or you can spit. And Tanya says she's going to swallow. Okay, Tanya, we see you. <laughs> Well, Portia says, mm -mm, I'm spitting, okay? <laughs> By the way, Tanya has already said, yeah, she gives blowjobs every day, yeah? When the man wakes up, and I'm like, Tanya, that's probably why you're not pregnant, okay? You're swallowing when they should be swimming up. <laughs> I'm stupid, I do. <laughs> Moving on. So Nini and Portia get to do a one-on-one, -on -one and it's, you know, it's a good moment for them. Why do I say this? Because at this point, you see... Portia talking and Nini actively listening and that's pretty much where the communication usually fails when everybody's trying to say their own piece and not really listen and, to, and try to understand why the other person is hurt and I think that this was actually a good, a good moment for both it actually made me all cry literally I, I like I think I shed a tear okay okay I shed a tear and it was kind of good because also when Portia was done she now also told Nini, Nini also now said to her, this is why I was hurt. You know, I was going through a lot and it was a hard time for me. I, I pretty much didn't have anyone. If I'd lost Greg, I would have pretty much not had anyone. Of course, Portia goes back also saying, uh, talking about the, the, the closet, Nini's closet situation and her belt coming off. All of that, you know, but it was just kind of nice and I thought this was a real moment. However, we see Kenya and... And Candy ragging on Portia and Nini for this moment on, you know, when they are talking in the green room or much later. They are like, oh, and the award goes to Portia, you know. And they are like, girl, they have receipts. And I'm thinking, uh, uh, because they're saying, uh, it's been really hard without you. I miss you so much, Nini. And they're like, and the girls are like, what in the world? What are you doing? And I'm like, oh, what more do you want from me? What more do you guys want from Nini and Portia? Come on, that's what the show is about. It's about, you know, making up, you know, having squabbles and then building the friendship. Everybody has been there. Whether it's Cynthia and Nini, everybody has pretty much, been, even Kenya and Portia, Candy and Portia, they've all been there and then they make up and that's pretty much what the anyway, which is they're going back and forth, they also show the text messages but they, anyway, Portia and Nini pretty much are now in a good place they hug it out and they have decided to respect each other that's it <sighs> so Kenya, of course, bought Cynthia a box of wine to take back to Atlanta and well, those I'm side eyeing her at this moment Ruin night don't ruin friendship so tanya and tanya and portia are deciding that they're going to have a little nine that since the energy is so good you know maybe they can get the ladies together and instead of having a bonfire night or whatever where you burn stuff up we're going to have a ruin night where you can you know don't leave with ruined friendship so they're very happy about it as they're having dinner they're just 
so many pussy cats, you know, and you're like, this is a bad omen, okay? And then of course a dog shows up and the legs are like, oh, they can barely sit down there. <laughs> Eva is five centimeters dilated and the baby is going to be coming the very next day, which is kind of cool, yeah? So, so Kenya says she should clear the air privately that she doesn't know why Cynthia wants, why Portia wants her and need to clear the air publicly when they clear the air privately. Hmm. I thought about this and I was like, yeah, that's actually true. Kenya has that right to do that. But there are two things I also remembered. One, if you guys do it privately, the f chances are Nini will probably beat your ass up. One. And two, you will be suing her. Yep. And then, I remember the night before, you also had the opportunity where the ladies were like, okay, they're going to give you guys time to fellowship and you turn that down. So that's pretty much what it is. You can't... I mean, the ladies actually tried to give you guys a moment to have, you know, a private fellowship and you turned it down. So, yeah. And you really didn't even need to talk to address Nini at all. You could also have allowed Nini to just keep talking and just let it be. Ruin night. So they got some wine and they have the place all nicely set up. Nini, Nini, Nini's there. Marlo, everybody's pretty much there. And Tanya and Portia are taking charge of the night and hoping that, you know, they can get to some kind of resolve, right? Candy wants to know. Of course, they do have these beautiful crowns. And if you don't have a crown on your head, you can't speak. So... Candy wants to know what did Nini talk about with Portia. And Portia is like, none of your business. <laughs> That's in the green room, however. But she says, well, pretty much, you know, because of all the, what, the social media beef that was so public and all, they just had a moment to sit down and it was kind of good. So now they've been able to rekindle their big sister, little sister. <laughs> ah, situation. Any which ways. Moving on. So immediately, uh, Cynthia decides, yeah, she wants to talk. And she talks to Ken to Kenya, and she's like, no, I'm not happy about what happened during dinner. When we were high up in the sky, you were kind of throwing shade. And now, am I the joke? Or, you know, is this a joke? Or am I now the joke? And of course, you see Kenya immediately saying, no, you're never ever the joke. You're my sister, my queen. You know, your businesses are bomb. And you're this, but however, you still riled on them. So stop it, Kenya. Stop it. You know, it's always, it's, it's one thing to do this and then immediately just apologize. I am, but when you do it too many times, it now seems like, is this apology really sincere? Do you really understand? So of course, Nini is feeling some kind of ways. Nini is like, mm-hmm, I see what's going on here. If this was me, Cynthia would have pulled this on, you know, and dragged it on and said, oh, this was that. Why did you do this? You know, and Nini is like, mm-hmm. She doesn't understand why Cynthia is tiptoeing. You know, and of course we see Nini and Kenya go back and forth. You're a bully. You're not gonna bully me, bitch. <laughs> Can't bully Nini, okay? She would get into that ass, okay? And ladies and gentlemen, I usher in Nini, okay? Nini has come into the building. <laughs> so they now go into your bipolar. Kenya says Nini is bipolar, and they're like, nope, you're a bipolar, bitch. You're a bi oh lord. You had to gravel and beg for everyone to be your friend. No, bitch. That's why your husband left you because of your bipolar ass, okay? <laughs> and of course, at this point, everybody is so like, no, no. Marlo is trying to stuff in his mouth and she's like, no, don't say that. That's not why we're here, you know? And you're all like, oh, you, you want the sympathy. Nini is still, ugh, everything is just going all down the drain. So let's go, let's just let them go and let them go at it. Look, no one likes you, your husband doesn't like you and that's why he's going with you, okay? Okay? Mark and his nose ring have left the building. <sighs> it was kind of sad. However, Kenya had it coming. I don't know how she thought, you know, that after all she's done to other people, whether it's with regards to, like I skip saying, she's done it to Phaedra, she, where she was telling Phaedra to go do HIV test. She did it on it to Kim, where she was telling Kim and her husband to go check if he was gay and he was called, being called Tutti Fruity. She done it to Kim Zosiak as well, when she was telling Kim, Zos Kim Zosiak was telling her daughter I'm pimping them out for donated tickets. She wasn't respectful of Kenya, of, of Portia, when Portia was going through her divorce. Because she, there was just, there's just been so much that Kenya has done that, you know, like, as much as you know that it's below the belt, but, you know, like, if, if the tables were turned, Kenya will also want, you know, to get in there. Because even when Portia got engaged, Kenya was still asking that, oh, what was the point? What happened? You know? And which is, Mark left you. And Kenya is saying, no, I left him. And then he's like, mm-mm, bitch. We know the truth. 
Mark left you. <laughs> You're tired and your kitty is tired and dry. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nene is in the building, okay? <laughs> Remember when she told, uh, what's her name again? That your clit done left your body. Mm -hmm. This is another situation. You say your body, your booty looks wrong. Get a new, ugh, get a new implant. It's just been, it was so bad. I don't think Kenya expected this. You know, because for the last the last few nights, Nini had been begging to kind of have a conversation with her. So she kind of expected Nini to be cool or, you know, to keep trying to be, you know, to talk to her. So she wasn't expecting this. And this came out of nowhere, right? Blow up booty, wig. <laughs> Moving on, they eventually get the situation a little calm. Tanya and Kenya are able to have a conversation. I was impressed that Kenya was even able to keep talking. But she's like, anyway, Tanya, thank you for not bringing up my situation, you know, and Tanya trying to say, you know, whatever happens, you know, you could have brought it up. And Tanya says, yeah, this, I really appreciate this apology this time around. But however, Kenya's like, no, um, how, you didn't apologize to me. And the ladies are saying, and see Portia saying, yeah, because apologize for the weak situation because what tanya did was like here and what you did bringing the cookie lady was like right here okay so there was no apology to have been said however tanya is apologetic and she's like okay i apologize but we should all know at this point that our men our family our spouses are really what is most more important even above our businesses and then he said mm -hmm. a married woman won't do that another married woman oh and here we go again so they start going back and forth at it again bitch and of course at this point nini has her popcorn and she's like you ought to be assaulted yeah you throw that popcorn and assault me nini don't fall for that because you know kenya nothing kenya likes more than to say oh she was assaulted so just don't use your words you know there's no point kenya is saying do you want me, do you want us to fight is that what you're expecting it's not even worth it you know i don't i just just leave kenya be you know kenya is going through enough just leave her be you know sometimes two wrongs don't make it right and we'll see what happens bravo people i'm totally not impressed with all of this and making us have to wait for another week for what just give us all the stuff and let's keep it pushing out. like it's too much thanks for watching have you subscribed be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell thank you see ya stay safe